started doing his fashion work for, for Vogue, and uh, he was doing uh, other, other work. He also started to do something, I believe, with Ralph Ellison. Ralph Ellison wrote a story, and Gordon Parks documented that story with photographs, and it was going to be publication, publicized by a periodical, and I don't know which one right offhand. However, that fell through. Ellison was disgusted and walked away from the project. Parks took his photographs and went to Life Magazine. Presented them to Life Magazine and said, this is my work, you know, can you give me a job? Or, uh, or what can you do for me? And they said, we'll give you a shot. It's the first African-American photographer to ever work for him. What he did, he says, you know, what do you want to do? And he had absolutely no idea what he was going to do when he walked in the office. He said, well, he had, however, documented rough neighborhoods before. He says, well, I'll document gang warfare in Harlem. And the wife said, okay, well, go ahead and do it and see what happens. He gave him a pittance, I think a couple hundred dollars to do his first, his first spread. That's Red Jackson in Harlem. <clears throat> he was uh, going into Harlem and he went to a police station to ask the, the police, you know, who he could talk to. Um, and they said, you know, they were talking. While they were talking, this, this kid comes in, Red Jackson. He's here. He's here. Uh, he was really mad. He was you know, giving the police help. And uh, Park says, you know, what's going on? It turns out that Red Jackson was a gang leader in that neighborhood. And the police had promised to protect him and his gang if they laid off fighting. Uh, and they did that. It didn't work because one of their gang members was, was jumped and killed. So Red Jackson was in their complaint. The police were not giving him proper protection. Parks introduced himself, told him what he was doing. Red Jackson wasn't really you know, amenable to that. But they got talking and went down to the to the street, got in Park's car and had a really nice big Buick. And uh, so part of the deal was that he would be their chauffeur for two weeks if they would allow him to, to, uh, to photograph them. And that's basically what, what happened. Now, yeah, yeah, it was dangerous. A lot of what he did was dangerous.